one of the questions I have for my oncologist after going through treatment and everything is, when are you officially a survivor? And I think that the, the happiest, I think the way that it should always be framed up is the day you're diagnosed. If you make it through that day, you could get through what's ahead and everything and the challenges that are ahead. So I feel like... Um, it means that, you know, being a, a survivor, you've almost kind of been given a second opportunity to give back, to, to do something different, to shake things up a little bit. So I look at it as um, encouraging. Are there any words of wisdom you'd like to pass along to other cancer survivors? Oh, wow. Um, take it day by day. Don't beat yourself up if you can't do it all. Um, when I was diagnosed, I had a one-and-a-half-year-old. I was a career woman, husband, you know, it, it was the most inconvenient thing that could have possibly happened at the time. So I would say absolutely take it day by day. You have a bad day, don't apologize. You just have to you have to carry on. And have a sense of humor. You know, it it's hard at times, but I think I think sometimes when I opted to laugh rather than cry it really helped me get through things like when I had to go shave my head or when I had no eyebrows for my mastectomy. You know it's all you can find humor in the little things and so you just have to look for those opportunities in some ways and I'm, I'm not trying to sound trite with the whole like the new me and you know the new you and stuff like that but um, I think it's inspired me um, obviously it's not something I would have wished for or hoped for to impose on me or my family but I think it inspired me that hey we've got a short life you know none of us are going to get out of this alive so we got to start living it and doing things to make a difference. Every once in a while I have that moment where I'm like, oh, I'm having a bad hair day or something like that. But you know what? It helped me let go. And, and it helped me just enjoy being in the present more. And I think that we all can improve that. It's easy to get carried away with life's hustle. So. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? No, I just, you know, I'd like to thank Siteman Cancer Center and everyone behind it. Um, I feel like I wouldn't be in this situation today had I not gotten treatment from Siteman, the aggressive treatment I needed for my breast cancer. I'm now four months pregnant, two years out, and Siteman is partially, I mean, obviously I give you guys a ton of credit for that, and I thank you.